Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSplyShop.com. Bringing you another wet fly today. This one's a light K hill. Um, if you watch my videos routinely, you know that every spring we go to Kettle Creek. Kettle Creek is a large freestone stream in northern Pennsylvania and uh, has some really great hatches. And when we're up there, this is one of them. The Lake K Hill comes off that time of year. And, um, you know, sometimes we hit it, sometimes we don't. But it's right in that that time frame when we're up there. So this is one that I have in my box while I go up there. Uh, easy? Well, somewhat easy fly to tie. If you're a beginner, it's going to have a little bit more difficulty. But it's really not that hard to tie. So, um, you know, have some of these in your box. You could even, if you want, do it in a darker color. It would work for some other hatches too. But, um, you know, just change your dubbing and your hackle to match. But this is a great pattern. And this is a great imitation pattern. This is not a, uh, an attractor fly. This is an imitation of the Light Cahill. So give this one a try. Have fun learning new techniques with the wings. And... Um, have fun. So here it is. Here's the fly in the vise and the material list to tie it. Okay guys, here you see the fly in the vise. Really cool fly. Uh, just a simple soft tackle. Well, maybe not as simple as some of the other ones, but let's get into tying it. I'm going to put the hook in the vise. For this one, I'm using a 419 fire hole. Um, it is a dry fly hook, I know, but I like to use them for wet flies too. So, I'm going to start my thread on there. The size is a 14, sorry. The thread I'm using is 140 denier cream. You can use 70. 70 would work great too. And we're just going to start our thread on there, wrap it back to the bend. Next thing I'm going to do is take a mallard flank feather. And the thing about mallard flank feathers is they come in all different sizes. This one is dyed woodcock, that's the color we're going to use. And um, so you got to use all the ones in the bag. So anyhow, this is a rather small one, so we're just going to use this one to start. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to tie it down on the back. I pulled the tips out. I should have said. I pulled the tips out of there. And I'm going to tie them down on the back. And then I'm going to pull them through. And I want the length here to be about the hook shank length. And there we go. We got a nice upturn to it. I like that. Now I'm just going to cut this off. And for dubbing, I'm going to use... I like my SLF Prism, or sorry, this is Whitlock's Dubbing Blends. The color I'm using is Stonefly Gills. It's uh, like a cream colored with a little bit of flash in it. That's why I like this stuff. It's got a little bit of fox, or sorry, squirrel in it. I meant to say fox squirrel, but it's not fox squirrel. If it is, it's bleached. Anyhow, um, it's a nice dubbing that will dub kind of fine. Which is what I want. I don't want a real big bulky one here. Whitlock's dubbing blend. And uh, we're just going to get it back to the back there. And now I'm going to wrap it forward. Oops, I kind of hit my hook there. So I'm going to tighten it back down. And I'm going to wrap it up just a hair further. Because I want it just about an eye length behind there. But I want it nice and level. I don't want a big cigar, uh, or taper, I should say. So you can see there, I'm a, a good eye length behind. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the rest of this feather, and I'm going to pull it back forward. And you see how there's a V left in it there, okay? I'm going to take those, and this isn't a big fly, so I don't want real long ones. And I'm going to take out about seven or, or sorry, before I do that, I want to put my hackle on. My hackle I'm using, this one is actually a light ginger, but you want any kind of cream colored hackle, you got to put your hackle on first here. So we're going to take a feather, and I'm going to, from the tip, just going to peel the tips off, and then I'm going to cut 
and give me a little triangle on the end there. That's going to be my tie down point. Now if you just trim that triangle a little bit on each side, it's going to give you fibers to tie down to as you saw there. So we're going to tie that down by them fibers. And then I'm going to make a nice little hackle collar here with this cream colored light ginger hackle. Now this feather here is a nice long one and um, I'm going to get probably three flies off of this feather right here but what you want is you want your hackle to go the same distance as the gap of the hook from the shank to the hook point that's the your gap there you want your same distance in your hackle which this one's about close here so this is a nice size 14 hackle we're just going to make three or four wraps here tie that off Okay, clean it up a little bit get ready to put our wing on okay there you see I got a nice hackle here you can pull them down towards the bottom if you want that's fine or you can leave them standing up top now back to my mallard flank I'm going to take uh, I'm going to trim just a hair of the center of that out there because there's I'm going to leave it there we go I'm going to take, oh, uh, there's about eight fibers on each side there, ten fibers maybe. And I'm just going to pull them together. And we're going to stack this on top of my eye right here. And I'm going to pinch the thread in my fingers and pull it down. So I get it nice and tight and right on top where I want it. So there you can see, that was a pretty simple looking wing. Probably, it's going to take you a little bit of practice. But you'll get it. It's it's not that hard doing it with these these wings are not perfect but that one's a pretty good one and that is the look we are going for you want a little bit of that upturn tail and you want a downturn wing just like that so we're just gonna whip finish this off give her a little head cement and we'll be done so very cool looking fly that with a little bit of practice doesn't take you much time to tie and it's a good one so give this fly a try alright like I said this is one of my favorite patterns when I'm up on Kettle Creek the Light K Hill because it's one that comes off while I'm up there um, and it's fun to tie because I like to tie winged flies wing flies can be a little bit tricky but this mallard flank is easy to tie. You don't have to get really... We're not going after a matched set of wings, you know, like two turkey feathers. We're not... We're, that's not the goal here. You know, you can make this look pretty crappy and it'll still catch a lot of fish. So give it a try. Practice your technique here. And, um, you, you know, that's what I always say my videos are about is techniques. Stacking one technique on top of another to, you know, to learn more full... To learn more flies, have more flies in your box, not by learning patterns, but by learning techniques. So, thanks for watching everybody guys. If you have any questions about wet flies or anything like that, feel free to email me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. And, uh, or for any questions about anything else, flies or suggestions on flies too. So, uh, but also any material you need to tie this fly, you can find in the material list down below in the description of this video. And you can go to our website at holsingersflyshop.com. So thanks for watching, guys. And until next week, I'm Sean Holsinger.